Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be trying out the ColourPop Glowing Lip Colors. It came with nine different shades. It is running for $7 each, but to be honest, it depends on where you find and purchase these lip colors because through the ColourPop's website, it runs for seven. At Ulta, I noticed that it runs for eight, so I just wanted to share that with you. But basically, this is vegan cruelty-free. It's supposed to give us a glowy sheen to our lips. You can build the pigmentation to your personal liking. It's supposed to be really hydrating on our lips. It has Shea butter and argan oil infused in the formula. So I, of course, picked up five different shades. We're going to be trying on it together. We're going to see how pigmented are these lip colors? How does it feel on the lips? What is the whole consistency like? What is a glowy sheen like? And I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Everything will be listed down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's jump on in and try them on. Starting off with our first lip shade, this one is called Museum Date, described on their website as a terracotta lip shade, and I love a terracotta girl, okay? I love a terracotta blush, a terracotta lip color. A lot of my favorite lip colors, they end up having like a terracotta undertone to them. So I'm very excited to try this one on. Let me show you the swatch that I've swatched in the back of my hand. And that is after doing a few swatches. Obviously, I want to build the pigmentation as much as I can so you can see how it actually looks. It does have a glowy sheen to it, which I personally like. And so far, it glided on like butter. It feels really moisturizing. So I'm really excited to apply it on and get a feel for this lip color itself. As a for it being streaky it does look a little streaky but obviously I'm swatching the back of my hand so I'll let you guys know how it looks on once I apply it on my lips but as for the packaging this is basically it I really like the packaging it's really cute it's very thin so perfect if you're traveling you're gonna put it in your pocket in your jeans if you're gonna put it in a small little clutch if you don't have a lot of storage space for your makeup perfect because it's not gonna take a whole bunch of space and I personally really like it it's really cute it has little stars all around it it gives me like teenager 12 year old vibes too from the packaging which I personally love because it pulls me back to when I was like, you know, young and stuff. <laughs> but this is basically it. I really like the size of the little tube of the lip color. I feel like it's the perfect size. It's going to fit perfectly when you're applying on it throughout your lips. Let's see if it has a scent. You know, it does have like a little like makeup scent, but it doesn't smell bad and you have to get really close to pick it up. So that is the only thing. I'm not sure if it's like the shea butter or what it is or maybe it's the argan oil probably but other than that it doesn't smell like vanilla or anything really sweet so that is it as for the packaging itself on the side it also lists the name of the lip color which i personally love because the font isn't too small it's big enough that you can you know read what it says and read what kind of lip shade you're grabbing. So, so far personally, really like it. It feels really nice and lightweight and I like the price point so far for $7 overall with the packaging and how it feels. So I'm gonna quickly remove the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on Museum Date. I have removed the lip combo that I had on my lips. Now we're gonna go ahead and dive on in on Museum Date. I'm gonna go ahead and start in the center of my lips and look how pigmented you guys. It is really, really pigmented. Let me press my lips together. Okay, and so far there is an even application. I don't feel like it's looking patchy so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying this on. Museum Date is a definitely a really beautiful lip shade. I personally like it. Is it like an everyday type of lip color? No, I wouldn't say it is unless you love something really pigmented and you like to wear it on the daily. For me, I like something a little bit more nude, more subtle, but this is really, really pretty. Love how pigmented it is, you guys. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be really like sheer and it would be something that you have to really layer on and work to get it to be pigmented, but I didn't have any trouble whatsoever. I just applied on one layer, pressed my lips together, and then went and with the edge of the lip color to kind of line my lips and clean out the edges. So, so far it's really pigmented. It didn't apply on sheer. It's even when I press my lips together. The formula doesn't separate. It feels hydrating. I do feel like I have something on, but it doesn't feel heavy and like gunky. It feels really nice. And I like the sheen that it has. It definitely has like a glowy sheen without looking too glossy. So let's move on to lip shade number two. The second lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on, this one is called Cockatoo. And I would really love to know where they got the name for this lip color from, <laughs> to be honest. It is described on their website as a baby pink lip shade. And it is really pretty, really, really nice. I love the undertone to it. You guys, here it is swatched in the back of my hand. It has a neutral undertone. I feel like this is gonna be a color that I can definitely see myself wearing again. It's a perfect everyday type of a lip shade. It has like the perfect amount of like pink 
and this lip color I absolutely love it and I personally am very excited to try this on so let's move on to applying on the slip color and look how pigmented it is you can definitely see it on my lips and I mean, you can definitely build the pigmentation, but why would you? I feel like alone, it's just so pigmented. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cockatoo. Cockatoo is a beautiful lip shade, you guys. As expected, I love it on. It's a perfect everyday type of lip shade. It has the right amount of a pink undertone. If you're someone like me who's not a big fan of a pink type of lip colors, you know, you just... You're just more of a new type of girl that when it comes to pink pink lip colors, you find them to be a little too loud. I feel like this is perfect. It's a subtle enough that it has like a pinky undertone, but it's not too pink, but it's neutral enough, but it looks like your natural lip color, but better. It's just easy type of lip shade you can kind of throw on and be on the go. So let's move on to lip shade number three. The third lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on. This one is called Indulge Me, and this is described on their website as a peachy nude lip color. And you guys, I feel like this is another lip shade that I'm going to end up really loving. I'm not sure how it's going to, if it's going to show up on my lips, but it's a really pretty lip shade. I personally really like it, so I'm really excited to try it on. I feel like, again, it's a perfect everyday type of lip color, and I love that it's like the perfect amount of peach in the nude of this lip shade. I personally really like it. I don't know if it has like a neutral undertone, but I'm really excited to see how it looks on my skin complexion. So let's go ahead and apply this on. I'm going to start in the center of my lips. And so far you can actually see it on. It's very subtle, but at the same time you can see that I have something on my lips and I personally like that. It's perfect everyday type of a lip shade, which I love. Indulge Me. Indulge Me is really pretty. I actually feel like you can definitely see it on my lips. It's really subtle, but in the most natural way, which I personally love. And again, I feel like this is like perfect everyday type of lip color. I love the peachy nude undertone that it has. I find it to be a really unique shade, and I personally really like it. Again, really easy to apply on. I definitely layered this on as much as I could because I want you to be able to see, and I wanted to really get a good feel for this lip shade as well, but I didn't have too much trouble building the pigmentation into this lip shade. I Either. So let's move on to lip shade number four. The fourth lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on. This one is called La Cienega, described on their website as a nudie pink lip shade. And I actually really like it. It's going to give us a little pop of color, perfect for the summer, springtime. I'm not sure if, it's, if I'm going to like it on me because you guys know, like I mentioned you guys before, I'm not a huge fan of pinky lip colors, but who knows, maybe I'll end up really liking this one. <laughs> but overall, I personally like it. It's subtle, but it gives you that little pop of color that I personally really like. And I feel like everyone should essentially have a pinky type of lip shade in their collection. You just never know when you might, you know, be in the mood. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in and apply this on, starting in the center of my lips. And so far, I really love this lip color, you guys. It is pretty, and it's like pinky, but I feel like it's not as bright as I thought it would be. La Cienega, you know, it is beautiful. Again, I really like it. I'm not sure it's going to look on camera. We'll see when I'm editing this video. I know I always say that, but like sometimes when you see something and then you see it on camera, I wish you could do that all the time because <laughs> it gives you, gives you, it, because it gives you a new perspective. That is what I'm trying to say. But overall, it's a beautiful lip shade, perfect pink undertone. It's not too vibrant, perfect everyday type of lip shade. I really like it on. It looks like my natural lip color, to be really honest but it's really subtle, but it's always a little pop of color. I don't know, I personally really like it. Comment down below so far, what do you think of this lip shade? And now let's move on to our last and final lip color. The last and final lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on, this one is called Let's Jet. And this is described on their website as a pinky coral lip color. I really like this one, I'm excited to apply this on. So far I love every single lip shade that I've applied on, So, and they all have like a really natural, subtle blush of color. The lighter shade one so so far personally really like this one i'm excited to apply this on again i feel like it gives you a little pop of color i feel like this is a perfect spring summertime lip color it has a neutral undertone without being too corally and bright i feel but i'll let you guys know how i feel about it once i apply it on if i feel like it's a little too bright and vibrant for my liking because you guys know here on my channel i like something a little bit more subtle more nude you know safe <laughs> so let's move on to apply on this lip shade I'm going to go ahead and start in the center of my lips. 
And no, I actually really like it. I can apply it on and know instantly <laughs> that it is really, really pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and press my lips together, finish applying this on. This is Let's Jet. You know, I really love this lip shade. It is really pretty. I definitely layered this on so we can see it, you know, in its true pigmentation. But honestly, I don't know if I'd wear this the, as layered on as much as I did. I'd probably apply on a light amount and press my lips together just so it wouldn't be so corally and bright but overall it's really pretty love the undertone to it i personally feel like seven dollars it's definitely worth it the formula is really nice and hydrating and i personally love how pigmented it is it really is really pigmented i can definitely see myself wearing them again i like the packaging it's really playful youthful and fun i love that it's small and compact it's gonna fit in my jeans and my clutch you know you can take this anywhere and it won't take up space which I love and I love how hydrating it is it just feels hydrating has a nice sheen to your lips and it doesn't feel too heavy the scent you kind of pick up the scent after a while but I don't find it to be too strong and overpowering I just feel like it smells like I don't know shea butter argan I'm not really sure what it is but I personally feel like this is a perfect collection at like if you like to wear makeup and maybe don't wear it often I feel like this is perfect to try it out because when you do decide to wear makeup you have something that's going to be lightweight hydrating on your lips but it still give you that pigmentation you have control of how pigmented you want it to be this is also perfect if you have a teenager who maybe wants to play around with makeup but the idea of you know them wearing something that's maybe you know too pigmented or something that's maybe asking for something a little too costly this is perfect because it's going to give them a light amount of pigmentation they probably will take a moment for it to figure out that it's you know what I mean but at the same time it's hydrating and it's really cute and fun so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you have any questions whatsoever as always comment down below ask away I'm always here to help please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much bye